Hey YouTube, Mystic Raven here. I'm signing in today to tell you about um, how, I, how to make a hummingbird feeder. This first part of the video is just going to explain the materials that you're going to need. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you first off how to make the sugar water. You're going to want four parts water and one part sugar. What you're going to want to do is, um, if you're a kid and watching this, you want to make sure that you're supervised while you do it, but you want to boil your water, um, or you can either just put the water in the pan with the sugar and heat it up, make sure that sugar is really dissolved. I already made enough here, um, I have two cups, so basically um, I probably won't use all of this because of the bottle that I'm using, I'm going to use a 20 ounce bottle, but from that 20 ounce bottle, I'll show you it now, this is what I'm using, it's a Mountain, Mountain Dew bottle, and this bottle right here, you're going to want to fill it to about here whenever we get everything put together, so when you flip it over, it leaves you about that much room, okay, and um, you know, this is what you're going to need, you need a bottle, make sure that it has the um, the sealer on it as well as your cap and from that um, when we do get into it you're going to want to put a hole right here so when you do flip it over it ends up dumping the water into the feeder this is going to be the container of the feeder where they'll be feeding from and it's from a Chinese restaurant you know, one of the containers they put the sauce or whatever in. And just to show you what's awesome about these, why I like these, is it already has a circle on it. See the circle right there in the middle? That circle is the perfect size for the bottle. So you can push it over top of that. But you're going to want to do it that way. So when you do it, what you're going to do is you're going to put it on like that with your cap. I don't know if you can see that. There's your cap. That's what it's going to look like. And then you're going to, um, it'll have a hole in it, and then you'll put the, the container over top there and click it up, click it down. But anyway, um, once you get that finished, which we'll show in the next part, I'm going to um, use, instead of making a hole like I've seen with these, making it difficult to actually fill the bottle. I mean, you figure common sense when you do this, all the water is going to come out of the holes that you've done here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a wired hanger that I took apart already, straighten it out, and then put it around the bottom here, and wrap it around, and bring it up on the bottom to where you can hang it. Then, then I'm going to use yarn, red yarn, as well as red suede cord. And I'm going to use that to actually um, wrap around the edges of here, which you're not going to need any glue or anything. This is all stuff that you can get. The only thing that you'll probably use, that you'll probably need as a tool, is if you have trouble with the wire, you'll probably need a pair of pliers. Um, or something to straight out the wire with. So if you're a kid, ask your parents for their tools or have them do it for you. Um, another thing that you're going to need is like something like an ice poker. Um, something sharp to get through that. And you know how thick these can be. But you could probably heat up something metal, poke it through there. Just make sure you have a big enough hole. I'll show you that in the next video. I'm going to sign out and start on my feeder. I'm going to get everything cut out and show you in the next video and put it all together. And um, then from there, uh, maybe later on I can show you a video of my hummingbirds. So, see you later.